Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to get started with Time Machine. So one of the most important things you need to do as a Mac user is use Time Machine to back up your Mac. Any user of any type of computer should be doing regular backups and Time Machine makes it very easy. Now there are several reasons why you should be using Time Machine. The main one is for recovery from catastrophic failure. Hard drives fail sometimes and having a Time Machine backup means that you'll be able to completely recover, at least almost completely recover, from a failure. But besides that you can also recover from another type of failure. Say if somebody steals your MacBook or if there's a fire or a flood or something like that and some way your Mac gets destroyed. If you have a backup then you have a better chance of being able to recover and put all of your data onto a new computer. Now some people think well I don't have anything that important on my computer so I don't need to back up. Well that's rarely ever the case. I mean even if you have just a few photos or some simple documents on there it could be very difficult to recover from a hard drive failure. So it's important for everybody to back up. It doesn't really cost that much. Hard drives today are really cheap. You can get one terabyte external USB hard drives for under a hundred bucks and two terabyte drives for not much more than that. So I encourage you to go to a store or look online and get yourself an inexpensive USB hard drive and use that to back up. Or if you have the money and you have say a portable computer like a MacBook, look into getting a time capsule. So for this example I've got this fairly inexpensive and a little outdated hard drive, just a simple USB hard drive that I picked up for about 80 bucks a little while ago. I'm going to use it to back up my new MacBook Air. So you find your settings for Time Machine in the System Preferences under Time Machine. Now if you have never set it up before it's very simply like this. It's turned off. You have a select disk and options. I'm going to plug in that USB hard drive. And you can see what's going to happen right away is that my Mac will wonder if it's not plugging in a blank hard drive if I want to use this as my Time Machine disk. So I get this little pop-up window here. Uh, I can select right away to encrypt the backup disk. Now only if you're in a sensitive work environment and say you're already using File Vault would you use this. Otherwise don't worry about it. Um, it encrypts all the files on the backup disk and if you have them encrypted on your Mac then you should have them encrypted on the backup disk. But if you don't use File Vault, don't worry about it. Um, I want to go and say yes I want to use this as the backup disk. And that's pretty much it. It configures everything for you. Now the first time you're backing up it's going to take a long time. It's going to have uh, many gigabytes. In this case there are going to be 30 gigs of data to back up from this MacBook Air. You may have hundreds of gigs on other machines. So you may want to do that overnight. Get it going in the evening and have it back up overnight. Afterwards it will back up just whatever changes uh, and you won't have to worry so much about a long time. As a matter of fact it will back up every hour. So here you can see it's already started the backup and it's well on its way. The only options I have here are to exclude items. Normally for most users you don't want to exclude anything. So then the key is just letting your Mac back up. If you have a desktop Mac just keep the USB drive plugged in all the time. It will back up any changes every hour and have a great backup to recover from either disaster or just maybe an accidental deletion of a file. If you have a portable Mac then you just want to make sure that you hook it up to your backup solution, either an external drive or your network for a time capsule and that you do that often enough to make the backups worthwhile. So maybe once a day, maybe in the evening when you just put your Mac on the desk, maybe just start a backup. You can do it manually. So the key is you want to make sure in your preferences you have show me time, time machine status in the menu bar. Then you get the menu bar icon here. You can see it's spinning because it's doing the backup right now and you'll have the ability to start a backup right away and not wait for the regular scheduled time. So you plug your MacBook in at night to the uh, backup drive and you just initiate a backup right away. Wait till it's done and you can unplug the drive then. Just make sure you do that on a regular basis so your backups are as current as possible. So how do you use Time Machine to say recover a single file? Well here I am on another machine here and I'm looking at a folder here and it's like I want to recover something, an old version of something. I can go into Time Machine using that same menu item there and what it will do is it will connect to the Time Machine volume and it will enter this Time Machine interface where you can see copies of that folder going back into time. And I can click on one way back here for instance and it will go back and I can see the time on the right. Then you can select something and click the restore button here 
And what happens then is it restores it to the current version. And I can say keep the original, keep both, or replace the current version with that backed up version. Of course, if the file's been deleted, then I won't have to worry about replacing it. It'll just put it there. So what else can you do with a Time Machine backup? Well, say you lose your entire Mac. Say somebody steals your MacBook. But you've got your Time Machine backup. You replace the MacBook. You run the restore partition on the MacBook. And you simply say, I want to restore from the Time Machine backup. You plug it in and it will do the restore and you'll have an identical Mac to what you had before, all your files restored. You can also restore individual users, even use Migration Assistant to actually pull a user folder off of a Time Machine backup and put it onto a new Mac. So a lot of different ways that you can recover, but the important thing is to take that first step and have that Time Machine backup to begin with or none of these options are available to you. So I hope you find this useful. If nothing else, I hope it encourages you to start using Time Machine to back up your machine. I get a lot of questions, as you can imagine, about people having problems with their Mac. And it's amazing the number of times somebody has some sort of problem that could have been solved if they simply had a Time Machine backup, but they didn't. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.